question one from the 2013 Higher Maths Paper 2, Reconciliations. And there it is, there's that simultaneous equation one. It doesn't tell you the parameters in the reconciliation, the multiplying number or the number you add, but it gives you the first three terms. So I might as well take a note of that. So u1 is 4, u2 is 7, and u3 is 6. So that just means I'm just going to feed them into the appropriate places, because un is the term before un plus 1. So if I take the first pair, that means if I start with 4, I'll get the answer 7. So 7 is going to equal m4 plus c, or I'll just write 4m plus c. That's one equation. Hey, maybe we'll just write it out this way. 4m plus c equals 7. There's one equation. Same again. If I start with u2, if I start with 7, I'll get the answer 16. So it'll be m times 7. 7m plus c. Rewrite that. 7m plus c equals 16. There's another equation. Two equations and two variables. You can solve it quite easily. You can see that all you're going to do is subtract them. I'll just put it underneath it. So 4m plus c equals 7. That was number 1. And if I do 2 take away 1, I'll have 7 take away 4. That's 3 lots of m. They'll cancel out. And 17, 16 take away 7 is going to be 9. Divide by 3. m equals 3. Then, knowing what m is, you can pop back to either equation. I'll go up to this one here, just using this one, number 1. I've got 4 times 3 plus c equals 7. So that means I've got 12 plus c is 7. c is 7. Take away the 12. So c is negative 5. And it just said, find the values of m and c. So that would do, I don't need to write this out again. un plus 1 equals 3 un minus 5. I just did, so I will. And of course you can check if that's correct just by rattling through those. Is the rule times 3 take away 5? 3 4s are 12, take away 5? 7. 3 7s are 21, take away 5? 16. You know you've got 4 out of 4.